All right, we're back. Took about a seven minute break. Catch my breath, cool down, set things up, get some energy back because we're doing uh, deadlifts, two sets of bent rows, and finish off with curls. But first of all, I had a question the other day about the plate that I have, the stability plate as I call it, stability platform. This is a regular plate, it's steel, it's solid, it's fantastic, and I used it for a long time uh, before I made this. The reason that I made it was when I do deadlifts, when I do split squats or any type of standing position on this, my feet are so big, my toes hang over the end and I don't like that feeling. It just, <laughs> pardon me. It just feels uncomfortable and feels unstable. So I made this platform and all this is, is two by four, or uh, excuse me, plywood with four by ones right in between there, nice and tight, fits in there, has a little bit of, a little bit of slide on each side so you get the, the cover, the little rounded part right here doesn't, uh, so it doesn't damage the band. So I cut it so it's inside that, so it doesn't damage the band. And my feet feel very comfortable over this. So that's all it is. I got, uh, <laughs> I got four <laughs> screws on each side holding the board in, and I just place it down over top of it, and it sits almost flush with the ground, so it's very stable. And obviously it's holding the board down, so it gives me more stability when I do uh, my pulling exercises or whatever I'm doing standing on this. Upright rows sometimes when I'm doing overheads, I kind of lean back sometimes, not on purpose, but I, as I'm doing it, I'll lean back and my toes will kind of come up. So with that plate, it kind of wobbles. With this, I don't have that problem. I feel very stable when I'm doing it. So that being said, All right, I've got the uh, sear steel black band. I don't feel comfortable enough yet to do the yellow band uh, with all these burpees. That'll probably be maybe next month I'll start doing the yellow band. I'll go back to the straps. Right now I'm just trying to get the, the feel for my strength after doing all the burpees, how I feel for the, my strength after that. So one set to failure. And my failure will be on 15 because that's the way I'll be timing it. Fifteen. Whew. Not total exhaustion, but I can feel it. And I've learned over the time of doing this not to go to total exhaustion doing deadlifts. That's when your body starts cheating and you can put yourself into a bad position and pull a muscle in your hip, your low back or something. So I try and go to the fatigue and a little bit into it. I don't go past it to where I'm just struggling to come up because you can hurt yourself. All right, I got two sets of bent rows after I catch my breath. All right, next up, bent row, supinated with a 37 inch serious steel green band. Then we'll come forward and we'll do pronated over the top with the X3 dark gray band.
much tension with that 37 inch right out of the bottom you can feel the tension right away as soon as you pull with a 41 inch you don't start feeling that tension until you're about halfway up that's why I ordered me some more 37 inch bands Responsible for pulling the elbow behind the back. That's all I was thinking about. Lock the grip in and try and use the lats as much as I can. To pull that bar back. I'll take a breath. Catch my breath. Keep my mind straight. Because we got curls coming up to finish it off. All right, we're ready for the last, last exercise. Curls with the X3 dark gray band. I just did 100 hammer curls, so my arms are gonna be tired. We're just gonna finish what I have been doing out here until I can't get it up to halfway and then finish off with drag curls, 15 total. I'm doing the short bar today instead of the long bar. Very much like a isometric at the end. Bring that up and just holding it, kind of pushing 
it out to put more tension on it, holding it there as long as I could. That's it. I'm done. I felt good. Like I said, I was like challenging myself. Today, later on today, I'll be thinking, what can I challenge myself for tomorrow? And I'll come up with some plan. Probably the same thing as I did the other day for chest. I'll probably do upright rows and flies with a double pump on the chest. Since it's chest and shoulders tomorrow. But that's tomorrow. Today, I felt good doing those 100 burpees. I can actually feel and see stuff working along here. When I put my shirt on, the bottom half of my gut is not sticking out as much. It makes it actually looks like I kind of have a flat stomach. And uh, yes, I am put myself up here for the whole world to see. I am not the most in shape or rigid looking, sculpted, ripped, whatever you want to call it, fitness person. But I'm getting myself in shape for 58 and have not worked out this hard since I was probably in my mid 20s, maybe my 30s, I worked out this hard. But all through my late 30s, 40s and 50s, I would just do cursory workouts just to keep strength, just to keep the strength. I wouldn't do much cardio. There was a time when I did do uh, some running. I did some marathons. Uh, yes, at 250, I was running half marathons on a regular basis. <sighs> but uh, those days are gone. I don't want to impact have any more impact issues with my knees and my ankles and my hips. So we don't do those no more. We'll do some light running, but we're not doing long distance running. That being said, the music for that I've been using lately is on YouTube. It's called Epidemic. And then there's rock, funk, country. There's all kinds of different titles, but it's Epidemic Music. And of course I like the rock and the funk when I feel like I'm in a funky mood, which might be tomorrow. Um, but. It's copyright free. They put that up there for people to use like this as background music so I can work out with some music. I would love to be playing some Dio, some Ozzy, some Black Sabbath, some other stuff, but YouTube will shut me down because, oh my God, I didn't pay for it. Although I did pay for the music and I bought whatever. It's all a bunch of hogwash. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for the new subscribers for showing up. Whether you're showing up for the burpees before for workout one or the X3 for workout two, you're going to get both here. Um, we have another atmospheric river moving in um, tonight, so it's probably going to be raining like crazy. I'm going to be stuck here in the store for a while longer. I'm not complaining. I'm actually enjoying coming down here. It's kind of like going to the gym, my own personal gym. Anyway, I got it done. I'm going to go live my life. I got things to do today, and I'll see you tomorrow for burpees and extra push day. Can't you see I'm easily